Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get your base right. So stay tuned. I'm starting with the moisturizer, which is a very important step. Your base cannot look flawless if there is not enough moisturizer on your skin and your skin is not hydrated enough. So I'm going to apply the moisturizer. I'm using a Sebamed moisturizer. I'm going to be applying all over my face. It's a really nice moisturizer for sensitive and acne prone skin. Secondly, I'm using um, a MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. I'm going to be applying under my eyes to hydrate my under eyes. It's a really nice cream which hydrates your eye immediately. Applying very little amount and letting it seep in. I'm then applying the NARS uh, Radiance Enhancing uh, Pro Primer. As you can see, it's already given me a really nice sheen. I'm now using the orange corrector by Derma in the shade D30. Applying it wherever there's darkness. Then I'm going to be applying the NARS concealer in the shade Biscuit on my under eyes. Applying it on my dark spots. I'm then taking the small beauty blender. And I'm going to blend it all out. I'm going to be then applying the foundation all over my face. The foundation that I'm using on myself today is Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. Applying it all over in a stippling motion. Apply it in one direction. Apply it till your neck. I'm then taking a real technique sponge. It has a really nice flat end which covers a really large surface area. The next step that I'm going to be showing you uh, is contour and highlighting. There are two types you can do it. There are two ways of contour highlighting. Either you can do it with a cream contour or you can either do it with a powder contour. In my previous videos, I've usually used powder contours and uh, so today, this time, I'm going to be teaching you with a cream contour. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, Contour Kit in the shade uh, Beautiful Bronze. I'm using cream contour shade which is two shades darker than my skin tone and I'm going to be applying on my face wherever I need needs more definition so I'm applying it on my first cheeks starting from the middle of my ear till in the angle joining the corner of my lip I'm going to be then applying on my nose starting from the end of my eyebrow coming straight downwards depends on how thin you want your nose to look so this is basically creating a nose job without the painful surgery I'm going to be applying the bottom of my lip to create that pout and on my cupid's bow then applying if I have a large I do have a large forehead so I'm going to apply at the corner of my forehead This will create an illusion of my forehead looking a bit smaller and on my jawline to highlight my jawline. 
you guys have a double chin so you can apply some contour here also to create an illusion as if it's a shadow and not your chin hanging this is my map for my contour I'm then going to be highlighting highlighting is done with two shades lighter so I'm going to be highlighting all the areas which need to be highlighted with two shade lighter color I'm using the palette from cinema secrets applying it the triangle below my eyes center of my nose temple area on the tip of my chin and keep this a little bit here this is the contour map that we'll be following I'm going to be starting with the highlighting blending first. So I'm taking a wet beauty blender, damp beauty blender, and I'm going to blend out all the highlighted areas. going to be taking small uh, beauty blender which is damp and I'm going to be blending out all the contoured areas you don't want any clear demarcation lines to be visible So this is the contoured area which is blended right now we are going to then set it with a powder foundation or a powder compact to make it look more blended and natural I am going to be using the lighter color powder on all my highlighted areas I am using the contour powder uh, from the NYX palette and setting my cream contour Taking an angular brush, taking a small a blending brush, this is a small one, taking some brown and then contouring my nose. So now we've set our powder and contour. Our next step is gonna be application of the blush. I'm gonna take some blush. I'm taking an Inglot blush and I'm gonna be applying it on the apple of my cheeks. We're gonna be applying some excess blush because once you apply the highlighter on the blush, eventually the intensity of the blush is gonna immediately come down. So it's okay if you end up putting a little excess. If you feel that the intensity has become too much and you can't handle, just take a little compact powder and apply it on top of it to reduce the intensity. That's what I'm doing right now. Just take in some compact powder and just applying it on it. The next step that we're going to be doing is highlighting which is one of my most favorite steps. So in this process, I'm going to be using a liquid highlighter as well as a powder highlighter also uh, because this creates the extra glam look on your face. Now I'm going to be highlighting all my high points on my face.
applying some little more blush as it's worn out. That's why we apply a little excess blush from the beginning. Next step, I'm going to be set, taking my Huda Beauty highlighter palette and applying a little on top of this to create that additional glam highlight. This creates an effect of a nice dewy base. We're done and I've done my mascara and my lips which I'm going to be teaching you all soon in the next video so stay tuned hope you all guys love this video so don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe button and do not miss any update by pressing the bell icon thanks for watching see ya